So, auditioning online. That is what we're going to talk about today. Talk about today. A lot of you, if you are auditioning for drama schools, whether it's the first time or the fifth time, you're probably going to be doing it all online for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Don't panic because this is just really good practice for the future. I personally feel like in person is always best. However, for things like film and TV, it can often save a lot of time and resources to just do online auditions or self tapes. I have done one video about self taping an audition for drama school. So have a little look at that if you are having to do a self tape first of all. This is more focused on doing a two way interactive audition with a panel for drama school. So I'm just going to give you five tips on how to make the most of your online audition. Tip number one is do your homework. <laughs> Treat this like any other audition. And what I mean by that is know your lines, know what the drama school is asking for. If someone comes into an audition and they have not read the criteria for said audition, I'm just going to be a bit like, well, you aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Always make sure you've read the criteria, know exactly what you need to have prepared for each audition. This goes without saying, but still the amount of people that don't do this is remarkable. So if you need to sing a song, make sure you know what key to do it in and how to tell that story without a pianist or a backing track. It's really important and it will set you aside um, from the people that obviously haven't done the work. That being said, the criteria might have shifted slightly if it is now an online audition. They might not ask for sight reading or indeed they might email that to you in the morning, in which case you need to check your emails. So just be really aware of what you need to do to prepare for that audition. Also, make sure that you're really prepared with the software or the app that the drama school is asking you to use in order to even do the audition. I imagine each drama school is going to have a different way to do this. And if you are auditioning for 12 different schools, then you might get a bit mixed up and whatnot. So just make sure it's really clear, keep organised, in your diary. I personally would probably have a notebook and at the top of each page I'd say Royal Welsh or Rada or Bristol or Vic and then I'd I'd probably put exactly what I need for each one on there just so I know it's really clear in front of me ready for that morning of the audition. Hope that helps. Tip number two. This is just something I think might be quite useful for you to see. So get your camera set up, film yourself doing your audition as if it were your normal audition. What I mean by that is don't change anything for the camera. I, I, I recommend just doing it as if you have practiced. In my other video, I do mention, oh, maybe you might want to play away, play around with the dynamics of how you... <clears throat> Woo, <laughs> need some water. Lean your camera on some books, get your MacBook open, film yourself like you were doing the audition like normal. What I recommend you do is introduce the pieces, say your name, and then go into each, each thing as best you can. Then study that. Have a little look at how you just come across, see what you sound and stand like as yourself. If you haven't got any guidance, this might highlight something for you that you maybe wouldn't have noticed and that the panel will notice. So clock how you are when you are yourself. I'm monologue one, I'm monologue two. See what kind of thing you're doing when you're singing your song. Because what you might clock is that there are actually really similar physicalities for each piece or that actually you are doing the same kind of thing in each piece and it's exactly like you as a normal person. Panel want to see you change. And I think actually the brilliant thing about doing this whole online audition is that a lot more of you are going to watch yourself back and take more initiative and ownership over your choices. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's exciting. It's really lovely to see as a panel when an actor or actress has come into the room and they are owning it. Tip number three, do a mock audition. Reach out to a friend, reach out to other people that are doing auditions as well. Ask me to help you. Get someone on the other end of the call and asking you some random questions, checking that they can hear you and see your face. And also well, the brilliant thing about some online um, apps and software is that you can actually record the call and everything that you can see as well. Like anything, the more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna be with it. So just give it a go with someone that you trust who maybe does have an idea about this. You might notice that you actually need to turn all your Wi-Fi off in the house because the internet's a bit naff. Things like that might come up and throw you off on the day. So the more you practice now, the better, the better, the more relaxed you're going to be on the day. And that's really important because the panel want to see you do good. You know what I'm saying? Tip number 
four. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Look like that. Just look like a high five. Tip number four. Let's do it that way. Tip number four. <laughs> Most of you are gonna be doing this audition at home. I hope, because you should all be in quarantine right now. That means you're probably gonna have relatives with you and that might be a bit daunting. Maybe some of them don't know you're auditioning for drama school. Maybe some of them aren't supportive. Maybe some of them are too supportive. Um, and you're a bit like, ah, oh. ask for a bit of privacy. I would absolutely recommend asking that they all put headphones in, that they keep noise to a minimum. Again, the more relaxed you are, the better you're gonna do. Try your best to just make the best of the situation. That being said, if something does go horrifically wrong, like the Wi-Fi cuts out, seriously, just don't panic. The panel are gonna be very understanding, I imagine, because we're all in a bit of a tricky situation at the moment and things are gonna go wrong and it is gonna be new to everybody. So just relax. And just on top of that, if you are having a conversation with the panel and they cut out for whatever reason, or you can't quite hear what they're saying, or you don't understand what they're saying, this is just a general rule for any audition, ask. Ask them to clarify. If they redirect you or something, ask them what they mean if you don't understand. Don't pretend you've heard the question. Don't pretend you understand. Just ask. We want to be as clear as possible and we want you to do really well. And if you don't know what we're asking you to do, then you're not going to do really well. Tip number five. This might seem quite obvious, especially if you're using a chair, a swivel chair like I'm on, in your monologue, but it might be worth having one quite close to hand. So if the panel, obviously every drama school does things differently, they might not want to chat too much because it is online, or they might want to chat a bit more because it is online and they've got more time. Have a chair nearby just so you can chill and sit and lean back once you've done and dusted and you know nailed your audition. Generally, in the ones I do, the contestant I was about to say, <laughs> a game show it's an audition for drama school we generally ask the candidate to sit down and have a little chat so have a chair to hand ready so that you can sit like I'm doing on the screen right now where you can see Vogue Vogue you can see my face quite clearly so if you've done your monologues a bit further back and you have maybe <sighs> Again, I can do more videos about this if it's helpful. You need, they need to see your face. We need to see your face. I'm not saying do the monologue this close, but we need to see your face. So make sure that you are able to be seen clearly when it comes to the chitty chat bit. If that happens, they can see quite clearly who you are as an individual when you are talking outside of your monologues and the work you are presenting. Look after yourselves. If you enjoyed this video and got some use from it, please click the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more of what I'm up to and get more tips and tutorials about acting and all things creative, just subscribe to my channel, babes. It'd be great to see more of you. Get in touch because I would love to help you and see what work you've come up with. I will make time to do this with you. So reach out to me, reach out to me. Very best of luck in your auditions and I hope to see you here very soon. Bye for now. Then... Yeah. Absolutely lost my train of thought.